Facebook earnings came out moments ago. I want to bring in our special roundtable to discuss exactly what's happening at Facebook. Paul Sweeney, U.S. Director of Research here at Bloomberg Industries, which, by the way, is a team of 140 analysts providing global research and data. Jeff Hazlett, former chief marketing officer at Kodak. He's the guy who sold all those patents for billions of dollars, salvage <laughs> value at Kodak, and he now joins us today as a Bloomberg contributor. Welcome to the team, Jeff. Thank you. It's good to be here. All right. And also, of course, Options trader Jim Ramelli, who was with us earlier, trying to put together a trade for us on Facebook. We'll get to a Jim in just a, just a second. All right, Bloomberg West Editor at Large, Corey Johnson, you just analyzed the numbers. And I tell you what, I want to start with Jeff. It's, uh, you're the new guy on the block. I'm ready. Uh, kick us off. What's your take here? I, I, Corey, I think, said it really well. It's mobile. You know, Sam Kennison said, move to where the food is in one of his com com comedic routines. This is what you need to do here. They're really moving to where the people are. People are on the mobile. That's where they're at. And so that's that's where they're going to go. That's where they're picking up the revenue. It's a little bit better than it was the last quarter. Still not there. 50% of their users are really on mobile. That's where they need to be driving those ads. But yet they're not picking all of the ad revenue. So lots of upside for them. So the fact that 30% that of the ads came from mobile is probably lower than it should be. Would that be your take, Jeff? Absolutely. But it's moving them in the right direction. The, right Plus, direction. Maybe the other thing that Corey pointed out is that the engagement with Facebook looked good from the numbers. And this was a real question going into here, whether people were actually spending time on Facebook like they used to be. Exactly right. I mean, one of the things that as a salesperson, advertising salesperson you sell is you sell your overall audience and you sell engagement. How long do they stay on your site? Advertisers want uh, users that are really coming back to the site and when they come to the site, they spend time there so that the advertising message can resonate. So that's a, a key point that Corey raised. Well, Paul Kudrowski, another uh, uh, Bloomberg uh, uh, View columnist, uh, has made the point that Facebook needs to somehow convert like into want, into need, into let me go buy it. How far are they in that process from your point of view, Paul? Um, I think there, there's still some a ways to go. Um, you know, just on the mobile side, again, you know, 60% uh, of their uh, audience is mobile, yet they only have about 30% of the revenue. So they've got some a ways to go there on the advertising conversion side, but they're definitely making, uh, you know, the right, uh, the right moves. Corey Johnson in San Francisco, your thoughts? Well, so I think the Facebook Exchange product is actually really important in that regard because uh, to Paul's point, about, or to Paul Kodrowski's point, the absent Paul Kodrowski's point, <laughs> uh, you know, the notion that they have to convert like into sell, into buy, well, they're already doing that. And maybe like might not be the best tool for that. But with this Facebook Exchange product, they're able to see what people are doing elsewhere on the web, the way that people are purchasing things other places on the web, and combine that with behavior on Facebook to put the right ads in front of the right people and we're starting to see that this quarter for Facebook that's when these product changes took place and I think you see some of that in these results well I got to say that for the only person that's probably bought ads on Facebook and I do that every single day in my own business and I've done it as a corporate executive as a CMO is the system is not set up for that you can't buy ads to convert to sales you can only convert them to likes which is great for engagement it's great to get people talking about it it's great to build your community but you still got to go an extra step and that's a tough thing for advertisers. So That's why I don't know anybody why don't they who do puts it? on those Well, yeah. that, it's just the way they, their, their system is built that way. They started as likes, and so they've gone down that path. It's tough for them to be able to entrench themselves back out of that or retrench themselves and then get back into another system. It's very difficult to do. And so the advertisers that are buying aren't big brands here, folks. I mean, like, as opposed to Google, where big brands are buying those sure. ads. These are mostly small businesses at $50 a day, $20 a day that are purchasing most of these ads. Well, Corey Johnson, what about Home? They made this big announcement that they were going to launch Home with the Android. How is that doing and how does that fit into the overall strategy? I mean, I, you know, it, it happened so late that it's not really going to be in these quarters results. I'm sure they'll say wonderful things about it on the call if they talk about it at all. But the truth is they don't know how it's doing yet, and we don't know how it's doing yet, and it's not going to be in these results. The reviews of the product have been, uh, it's kind to say that they've been mixed. Um, <laughs> but, you know, we'll see what that leads to in this business. There, there is so much to, that we know about their business. That's the fun thing about these new companies is that they're get, this information is so new that when they report quarterly earnings, these 
businesses are still evolving, we can see the changes in the business. One thing I'm just, just putting in my model was the, that they had 213 million in payments and other fees. That has mostly been a, a Zynga business over time and has even been seen as a proxy for Zynga. Now, Facebook has pointed out that it's no longer just Zynga and that, well, Zynga was shrinking, other games and such were growing. But this is only the second quarter they've ever reported a, a sequential decline. So I said 213 million this quarter. It was 256 million last quarter. So the payments business, which has been mostly games, is in decline for these guys on a sequential basis. The only time that ever happened was just a, a $2 million change a year ago. So you might expect things to decline from Q1, uh, from Q4 into Q1, but this is a pretty sizable decline. Yeah, it certainly is. And you know, the, the, the one point that we, uh, we don't seem to be uh, uh, discussing is the fact that Earnings actually missed by a penny, Paul Sweeney. So for all the talk about um, the shift towards mobile and bringing in more users, they still missed by a penny. And by the way, we're only talking about pennies. They made 12 cents. I mean, this is small, small potatoes profits here. Yeah, I think, you know, it, I think the best you can say about this quarter is it's, it's a mixed quarter. They did better on revenue. They did better on that mobile metric that everybody's focusing on, that 30% number is, but they missed on the EPS. And I think the stock has kind of shown me that it's kind of mixed here in the aftermarket. So that just goes to the uh, the whole challenge for Facebook and for a lot of these new internet companies is they have to execute not just on the top line, but they need to bring it bring it to the bottom line. Now, Facebook's doing a good job, but they absolutely did miss here a little bit. Well, yeah, let's, let's talk about the trading action right now and head over to Jim Ramelli. I'm looking at the stock reaction. It looks like shares are a bit lower after a little pop that we got after earnings. What do you see? Right, so we saw the shares pop on the initial reaction. We're basically unchanged now, down around uh, four cents per share here. Now, we generally see sellers come into the market on a rally after earnings in Facebook. Keep in mind, we've only had three quarters of earnings before this one. Now, the trading in Facebook right now would tell you that that report is mixed. They were The options market was implying around an eight and a half to nine percent move on this report, and we're basically unchanged here. I'm still short the stock via options. I'm not going to do anything with that position until expiration. I think home we're not going to see those numbers in this quarter here but that is supposed to be the next catalyst that grows their mobile revenues going forward here and the initial reaction to the home app is not good it's one of the lowest rated user experience terrible. apps on google right now terrible ratings and not that many downloads half a million downloads jeff yeah you you you're you're, you're a man of uh, many opinions yeah here. i i think home is home alone right now but you know i, I gotta <laughs> give these guys credit i think they're the very first company with 30 percent of their revenues in mobile that's made Making the mobile transition. You got to give them credit for that. So even though they missed by a penny, you right. got to give these guys credit for making the jump to, to mobile, getting there, and 750 million interactive users. That's a lot of eyeballs. That's a lot of people. Gonna, yeah, Jeff, I'm, I'm know, curious about your take. You were an executive uh, looking ahead to the earnings call, Mark Zuckerberg. What does he need to communicate <laughs> on this call? I still think he needs to communicate trust and that we're going to get you there. We're going to work with you. We're going to partner. And I don't think he's been able to tell advertisers that. And so there's been some real issues about where people put their monies as investors and also where advertisers put their money because I still don't trust them. Is, I wonder if it's he's, because he's so focused on the user and the user experience. Yeah, and that's, and that's fairly typical. We saw that from the Google guys when they came out of the gate. They're focused on the users. They're focused on the experience. They're focused on growing the business, their user base. We've seen that on these, on these uh, internet-driven uh, subscriber businesses. So, you know, it's going to be, a, it, you know, the challenge is to, to monetize them over time, either through advertising or, or uh, merchandise. Monetize. Well, if I can jump into what Paul was saying, guys, if I can yep. just jump into what Paul was saying about what they accomplished in a quarter. You know, the company did $219 million in net income, but that's after $130 million in stock comp charges. So, mm. really, these guys had net income of about $380 million in, in a 13-week period for a nascent business. Uh, that it's, it's extraordinarily profitable. They still spent a lot of money in the quarter. They dialed back capital expenditures just a little bit, but they're still, in as much as they're in, we, we usually talk about companies when they're investing for growth, when they're like Amazon and they're barely profitable and they're trying to get big. These guys are investing for growth and they're throwing off a ton of profits. All right, Corey Johnson, thanks for your perspective from San Francisco. Paul Sweeney, thank you, sir, for yours, Director of Research here at Bloomberg Industries. And, of course, uh, Jeff Hazlett, the new guy on the block, <laughs> new uh, contributor to Bloomberg, and Jim Ramelli with the options trade. The whole team, thank you. And coming up, Adam on.